My name is Mirela Delebegovic and I'm a professor here at the University of Aberdeen um, at the Aberdeen Cardiovascular and Diabetes Centre. So my laboratory has been working here for a number of years trying to understand if we can improve outcomes in diabetes. And of course for us this is a huge year because it marks 100 years since the discovery of insulin. Insulin has been a life-saving drug, the miracle drug as it's referred to, for a number of patients living with diabetes for um, 100 years or so, saving millions of lives worldwide. But whilst insulin was discovered, purified and injected in 1921, 1922, it wasn't for another 60 years that we understood how insulin exerted these beneficial effects. So it was only in 1982 that the receptor through which insulin works was purified and identified. And for us that's really important because while for type 1 diabetes patients they could inject insulin, for type 2 diabetes patients it's a bit more complicated because they do actually make their own insulin but insulin doesn't do its job so by identifying the insulin receptor itself the field is really exploded because we have been trying to understand if we can use some of these targets that insulin works through to improve patients lives in type 2 diabetes and of course type 1 and type 2 diabetes and other diabetes are also associated with a number of other comorbidities one of which the biggest one is probably cardiovascular disease but also cancer alzheimer's disease and other ones so my laboratory has a number of projects ongoing in the moment trying to understand if we can not only treat type 2 diabetes but maybe also improve outcomes in cardiovascular disease by, by targeting atherosclerosis and downstream cardiovascular. Um, they're also looking at uh, wound healing. So we know that about 20% of diabetes patients really have these non-healing diabetic foot ulcers which lead to amputations. And what we are trying to understand is if one of our therapeutic uh, options could actually improve wound healing in diabetes. We have a number of other uh, projects as well because we don't only look at pharmaceutical interventions, we also look at nutritional interventions. So we do know that what we eat is incredibly important and constituents of the diet are very important as well. So for example, we know the vegan diet is healthy, but why is it healthy? And what kind of different types of protein are important to maintain that uh, healthy mind? So we look at cognitive uh, improvement as well as metabolic improvements. And of course, while uh, there are all these projects ongoing here, globally there are a number of projects trying to understand what role does the immune system play in regulation of diabetes. So what we are all hoping for, and there are a number of different labs working on this, is is it possible to have a vaccine against type 1 diabetes? Could we also predict which patients may be more likely to develop diabetes so that we can actually prevent that development in the first place? So not only delay the, uh, the development of the disease but also prevent it overall and there are a number of other outstanding questions in the field and we are all globally working together to try and address those.